Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel or this kitchen. Guys, this afternoon I would be making and um, sharing with you my cheese rolls. Okay, now I've got the ingredients I would be using here in the bowls, guys. I've got some mustard, a little salt, I've got a little hot sauce there, a little sugar, I've got some butter and lard, and guys, here I've got my cheddar cheese. Okay. I've got some cheddar cheese cut up small, so I'm going to um, pulse this and blend it and pour this in my um, in my food processor, okay? And here guys, I've got my flour and I've got a jug there with some ice cool water. So let's go ahead and put this all together, alright? Here guys, in the bowl, I'm going to go in with my sugar and my little salt. And I'm going to mix well. And then guys, I'm going to go in with my butter and lard. And I'm going to rub this into the flour until it looks like breadcrumbs. Okay. Next, guys, I'm going to go in with my ice cold water. And I'm going to squeeze and bring this pastry dough together. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap my pastry dough in some cling wrap and I'm going to place this in my fridge guys for about an hour, okay? And then we'll come back. Okay, so guys, I'm going to take you through the next step now. Okay guys, I've got my blender jug here, so I'm going to be placing my cheese in here. My butter and my mustard my butter and my mustard and my hot sauce guys I'm gonna go on now guys to blend and cool this until it becomes creamy and smooth guys and this is what my cheese spread looks like when it finished creaming okay 
So I'm going to go ahead now and place this up and put this in a nice dish and cover it with some cling ploy and place it in my fridge for about an hour. And then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the finished product of my cheese rolls, okay? Okay guys, now I'm ready to move on to the next step of my cheese rolls. So I'm rolling out my pastry here as thin as possible. And then I'm going to cut them out into squares. Using my my little pastry cutter here, okay? And then I would be filling them in with my lovely cheese filling, okay? So, I'll take you through what I'm doing. Step by step, I'll take you through the process. So I'm going to carry on rolling this out and then come back. So I've got that as thin as I want. So I'm going to cut it in half like so. And I'm going to go on to cut them into squares like so guys. Cut off the ends and kind of make them even like so. I don't know if it makes sense like so. But this is how I would be cutting them out. Cut off a little bit here. I hope you all can see what I'm doing. And it size that it's not. Okay guys, and I'm going to place uh, some of my cheese filling in it like so. I'm not going to put too much because once this goes into the oven, you don't want things to be leaking out and everywhere. So, put some of the cheese filling like so. And then I'm going to roll it. And I'll use some of my egg wash to stick down the edges, like so. And there you got it, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off a little bit of the edges because it's a bit too much. And there you got it, guys. And I'll use my fork and go like so. And there. And there you go. I'm going to do one more and show you guys. And then I'll carry on until I'm done.
this the flower is just to dust in to prevent anything from sticking that's all what the dry flower does Prevents things from sticking. Put my cheese filling like so. Put a little more. Mm, delicious. And I'm gonna go on to roll like so, guys. wash at the edges I go over like so I'm gonna cut off a little of the excess just to tidy it up a bit And there you got it. Place it in a pan. All right, so I'm gonna carry on, guys, and then I'll come back. Okay, guys. Now I finish rolling off all of my cheese roll, and I got three pans. Okay, and this is what they're looking like. Okay, this is what they look like. Sorry about my camera shaking. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead now and brush them with that egg wash that I have. And then I will place them in the oven, a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And then come back and show you guys the finished product. Okay. It's just a piece from the end. So I brush them down like so. Okay, and then I'll come back guys and show you guys the finished product. Okay guys, this is the finished product guys of my guys cheese roll. If you guys like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Please like, share and subscribe. All the measurements and ingredients will be down in the description box. If you're new to my channel, you're absolutely welcome. Please hit that subscription button and that little notification bell where you would be notified whenever I upload a video, guys. Thank you all so, so much, guys, for your continued support. I really appreciate each and every one of you, guys. Thank you all once again and please don't forget to like, share and comment. It would really help my channel. Thank you all once again. And I'll see you in my next one. Guys, and I'm going to break into one of these cheese rolls to show you what it looks like on the inside. Guys, and these are my cheese rolls here. So I'm going to break into one of them and show you how beautiful it is in the inside. Okay, look at that guys. Look at all that cheese moving out there. Look at that and look how flaky. If I squeeze this pastry too much, it would mash, crush up in my hands. This is how flaky and soft it is. Okay, and delicious. Okay, guys, so this is my take on the Guyanese cheese rolls. And as I said, if you like my channel, please like, share, and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you. Bye.